Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a technique that I like to call the zoom effect. Uh, with this technique you can add a, a little bit of danger to your your photos in Adobe Photoshop but you can certainly try it on uh, on pictures that that you're not trying to add danger to too and kind of see how it works but uh, uh, I'll go ahead and just get started. As you can see I, I have this photo here of a tiger and it looks like it's just sitting in an enclosure or something. I actually enhanced the colors and stuff a little bit really quick uh, and I did a pretty poor job so kind of ignore that uh, as you can see in the sky here. <laughs> but uh, anyway uh, I'm going to show you the technique here right now. So what the first thing you want to do is open your image in Adobe Photoshop and um, go ahead and just make a copy of that background layer. So what you can do is you can take the background layer and just click and then drag it down into your new layer button or you can press control J on your keyboard and that'll do the same thing. The next thing that you want to do is go up to um, filter down to uh, blur and then down to radial blur. And as you can see uh, some of the settings here you have either spin or zoom and you want to you want to click on zoom and the quality um, probably you want to do best. I'm going to do good so hopefully it renders a little faster here. Uh, the amount you can set here, um, I'm going to do about half, about 50 uh, actually to be exact, 48 percent. And then I'm going to click OK. And As you can see that just applies that zoom blur to everything in the picture. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the picture a little bit. You can click your uh, magnifying glass tool in your toolbar or press can the control and the plus sign on your keyboard to zoom in if that's what you want to do and I just wanted to zoom in on the tiger a little bit so because because of this next step so now with my uh, my background copy selected which I have the zoom effect applied to I'm going to add a layer mask and you just do that by clicking on this layer mask button down here and you can see it added a layer mask and uh, with the layer mask selected on the layer go ahead and select your eraser tool uh, you can change the settings of your eraser tool by going up to the top left here and uh, clicking on the uh, the number up here where there's a little arrow down arrow okay so you can change the size I'm gonna leave mine I'm gonna go a little smaller uh, but depending on your picture you're gonna want to you know do it by feel I guess or by look but anyway, change the hardness down to zero and uh, make the brush size whatever you think is appropriate. And on that layer mask, go ahead and just erase away the part, like the subject of your image, mine being the tiger. All right, and you can kind of just erase as much or as less as you want. Okay, and that's pretty much it. If you think your zoom effects a little bit uh, too strong, you can either start over so you can just click off that layer and make a new layer and start over and uh, lessen that or you can try taking the opacity down but it's all that's doing is making it a little bit softer so it, um, if you want the kind of length of that zoom less you're actually gonna have to start over and uh, take that percentage down to like 30 30 or 20 or something but here um, that actually applies a, an interesting effect if you just take the opacity down a little bit and let the background show through a little bit more Another thing that you can do is take that back up to 100%. Um, you can make your your eraser tool a little bit larger. We'll go back to about 500 or yeah, 500 or so, and you can just kind of click around a little bit with that. Make sure that your hardness is still at zero, and just kind of click away some of the areas and let some more of that show through. And it kind of gives it more of a, like a poster effect or something like that. Uh, just kind of a weird effect that you can add to it. All right. So uh, anyway, that's the tutorial for today. I hope you've learned something new here. Um, please uh, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. If you liked this tutorial, please uh, click the like button on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching.